there are a lot of predisposing factors. One, like in many wilderness medical maladies, and it's uh, dehydration. Now, why, you might ask, would dehydration cause frostbite? Well, remember, as we become volume depleted, we begin to vasoconstrict. When it's cold out, we want to maximize vasodilation because blood equals heat. And so the more we can perfuse our extremities, the less chance we have that we're going to freeze them. Blood equals heat. So along the same lines, if blood equals heat, and really what we want is perfusion, oftentimes as important as having a well-insulated boot is just having a well-fitting boot. So if you're a cheapskate like me, and you buy shoes on clearance whenever you can, and maybe they're a half size too small, bad idea when it's cold. If you have any pressure on your toes, any squeezing, anything that's going to reduce distal perfusion, it's going to predispose to cold injury. I think sometimes when we see frostbite in climbers, skiers, I think part of that is what skiers often call boot bang, which is just ischemic injury to the toes from a badly fitting ski boot. Well, in cold weather, you can get this kind of combination of boot bang or ischemia plus cold injury. So it's just one more reason to make sure that if you're going into cold weather, whether you're a skier or a climber or a hiker, that your boots fit really well. Similarly, if, if you decide, well, it's cold out, so I think I'll put on a couple pairs of socks and try to cram them into my running shoes so I can go over this 18,000-foot pass in Nepal, uh, probably not a good idea. It's better just to wear thinner socks and allow your tissues to perfuse. Obviously, insulation is good, but if it's squeezing off your blood flow, it's uh, working against you. The other thing is conductive heat loss. When you touch cold metal, typical thing for climbers would be, uh, let's say you don't have a glove liner on. And, of course, I'd recommend always having a glove liner on uh, so that if you've got a big pair of mitts on where you have no dexterity, you can pull the mitt off and still use your fingers without flash freezing them against cold metal. So you want to tighten your crampons and you're touching cold metal or you're on the summit, you want to get your summit shots and you can't work your camera with your mittens on so you pull your mittens off and you take your picture and now you've frozen your fingers. Good glove liners can really be tissue saving in the mountains.